project in Aruba has impacted me massively. Before, I knew I loved working with children and I loved sport, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in the future and how to combine these things. It's opened my eyes and given me opportunities I wouldn't have thought possible before. It has benefited me greatly as I feel much more confident within myself, my social skills and adapting in certain situations. I enjoyed all the projects I took part in, however, if I had to pick my favourite one, I'd have to say Sonrisa, where I helped disabled children to take part in sports. This was the most fulfilling to me as I feel they got the most out of it. There were many differences to doing a similar project in the UK, for example the heat, the language barrier and the differences in the types of people I was working with. These differences helped to push me out my comfort zone and learn more. Hi, I'm Kajoran, I'm 17 and I'm doing a sports coaching project here in Aruba. During my project in Aruba, I have learned new skills and experienced new things which I think will benefit me and impact me positively in the future. I've had to coach um, sessions to elderly people and coach athletic sessions to younger kids. As a person who's looking to study sports science or sports management, something related to sports at university, I think all the things I've learned and everything I've put on the project in Aruba will contribute positively to what I'm looking to study in university. Hi, I'm Bella. I'm 17 years old and I'm in Aruba for a sports vocational project. Aruba was an experience that had taught me so many new life skills and also helped me develop on those skills I already had. Skills like communication, organisation and empathy. With being in a new environment and given little to no equipment for the people to do activities, made me realise how big of a contrast there is between lives in different countries. Also, the weather climate was incredibly different to the UK, making teaching styles and activities to be much different, such as giving more breaks and making exercises more simple for the younger children. What I enjoyed the most was meeting the new people from the disability project. This enabled me to meet people from a range of ages with all different mental disabilities. This Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm 17. I'm here in a river doing a submarine project for two weeks. During my time in the submarine, I had the opportunity to work in different roles, helping people to explore the underwater world of Aruba. I was able to scuba dive whilst completing maintenance work, as well as narrating and docking the boat. I was keen to take up all opportunities open to me, so in my spare time I helped the other volunteers, which included helping the older people of the island take part in aqua aerobics and sports coaching for the younger ones. Communicating with people who speak different languages has its challenges, but it really helped me to grow. It was hard work, but the skills I developed helped my confidence so much, which I know will benefit me in the future. So while I was out in Aruba, we got to work quite closely with the elderly doing physical activity, and that was run by an organisation called Ibiza. So how that would work is we would do different classes throughout the week, and that would work on different muscle groups. We were taking part in these classes, but we were also given the opportunity to lead some of them as well. That really worked on our communication skills and also developed our language skills as well as we're often speaking in Spanish or Papiamento. I also did a lot of work with popcorn dance in Aruba. Uh, I was taking part in different styles of dance that I hadn't really done before. And it was really interesting to see how the culture of dance in Aruba varied from that in England. I was also given the opportunity to teach some dance classes as well, which really helped develop, again, my communication skills, but also my coaching skills in dance. Hi, my name's Jack, and I'm here in Aruba coaching football, and I'm 17 years old. Over this course of uh, the Aruba trip, I think I will bring back, most importantly, uh, the skill of patience and resilience, especially working in some reason, the disability uh, centre, as you have to have a lot of patience when uh, coaching the kids as they have the capabilities of uh, doing something uh, an average child would uh, be able to do. And you also need to be resilient because some of them can be very stubborn, meaning that they won't listen to you. So you need to be resilient in your instructions and uh, what you want them to do, which is a very important skill, which can be applied into any place, especially a workplace as well. Uh, over the Aruba trip, I think this has impacted my future massively. As, as I mentioned before, it allows me to bring back key skills, uh, which I can I'm use uh, in my later life. Uh, whether it's going for a job interview or whether it's uh, conducting myself properly in a work environment. Um, overall, I think this trip has benefited me massively 
as uh, as it gave me a unique perspective on how some other people live so it gave me an in-depth uh, not review but in-depth more in-depth understanding of uh, the Rubens culture and their way of life as well which uh, was very eye-opening especially I'm bringing it up again some reason to the stable center that impacted me massively because I I saw how some people live their lives differently to others and it really opened my eyes um, what I enjoyed the most probably not because I like football uh, I mean a lot uh, just because I really enjoyed coaching uh, the younger kids at Unisys uh, and I thought My name is Isaiah, I'm 17 years old and I'm here in the group of So working in Aruba has made me realise how to be grateful in life. As working with Sean, some of the kids won't be able to uh, speak, or most, most of them won't be able to look after themselves in the future. It has made me be grateful for everything that I have. Uh, what I enjoyed the most had to be playing football and basketball, as the people were all welcoming and uh, they didn't treat us like tourists or anything. We just felt like we were part of the Aruba community. Uh, I feel like this. Doing this will impact my future positively as um, coaching in a different country is an amazing thing to do and I feel like learning a new language will also benefit me in the future if I want to go overseas and do a similar thing and uh, I think the main difference from here to the UK has to be the weather obviously it's a lot more hot in Aruba and I just